Hello everybody, welcome back to AI War Fleet Command, the Fallen Spire Pure Redux, and the entire galaxy has been scouted. You know me as white because they just destroyed us in here, we're going to be rebuilding the command station, but we got rid of everything, it's no permanent loss. And we have now the knowledge we need to form a plan. So, we have the homeworlds. One is in Hebe, that's a pretty good location for us. Emma is like the worst possible location. You can see there's only two paths to the outside ring. They're both way over here. We'd have to come all the way around this way. That is terrible. Now, for the purpose of this game, I'm going to pretend Emma doesn't exist. You might say, well, what if the Emperor, Court of the Emperor's ship ends up being over there and you have to go get it? Well, in this case, I'm going to save scum. I wouldn't normally do that. But it's just going to be a lot of complicated nonsense. It's not really going to add much to the game, in my opinion. I'm going to exercise my executive discretion and say to heck with it. So we're going to forget about Emma. We do need to make sure that we're ready for these, though. Hebe, and we'll need to get to either Thisbe or Ouija Man. Also got to finish setting up our core. And we've got to consider the core processors. So there's one here in Quayar. There is one in Varda. There's also one in Octea and Callisto. And to get to all of those, we'd have to pound through a bunch of stuff, knock out enough black hole machines that the actual AI progress we gain wouldn't be a whole lot. Does still leave one problem, though, because we want to take Quayar. I want to take this whole second ring. And if we do that, we have to take out this one AI coprocessor, unless we don't actually capture this system. I don't want them to be able to generate uh, their exo waves within our territory. Obviously, that would defeat the whole point of choke pointing everything off. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop in here and knock out the warp gate. And I'll knock out all of their guard posts, but I'll just leave the command station up. I don't want to take out the rest of this. Now, for our spire cities, we want, I'm going to want Yavin. There's good locations at MJ12, Palace, and Sylvia. I've looked at that. So that's four. We need at least one more to make this work, and could potentially go higher. I'm going to put at least one out here somewhere in this stretch, because I do need to pound up this way. I want to get to Ouija Man. This is the closest route to get there. So I'm going to take out take some of these. I definitely want to get to Calliope and control this, and then neuter that system. So that from here, we've only got to get through one black hole machine there in Ariel. And then, gonna, then I'll be within four jumps to get there. So I want to take this stretch, at least some of them, get into Calliope, and clean out all of this. And once we do that, I think we're pretty much going to be ready. Because, see, on this side, from Thisbe, we've got Slan, one only T, Deimos, Hygieia. The, the, there is no black hole machine here. So, you know, it'd probably be useful for me to eventually take this system, get one step closer. But then also, if we look here, I need to get the munitions booster here. That's the other big thing that I need to get done is that hacking, probably start doing some knowledge hacking. Should have a good amount by the time we clean out the rest of this. Also, of course, we'll knowledge hack in there to make sure we get that amount. So that's going to be our sort of our approach. We're ready to... Make some final steps. Still quite a bit of fighting to get there. Okay, so now we're almost up to 10 hours into the game. Good news, bad news time. Good news is that we've basically completed our second ring. We've pushed our way out this way. We have enough in our fleet, really, that when we need to go in and take out a system, I can pretty much do it through brute force, unless there's something particularly troublesome there. The bad news is, the one system that was particularly troublesome is one we just took in Chiriklo. The enemy waves, with our AI progress up over 400, the enemy waves are between 1,500 and 1,800 ships at a time, which is more than I can handle in some cases, even with the support of the fleet, just the amount of force that comes in, especially when they use particularly fun ones like the fast anti-armor ships. They pound through just too quickly to take them all out. Now we did find a good spot for our fifth and what I think is going to be our final Spire City Hub. And that's here in Philomela. Right on top of that Fortuna wormhole. 
we have a Mark II radar jammer, which was a pain when we took the system, but this is really an effective area because it has the effective range of the enemy ships. Combine that with grav turrets, and we can really do a lot of damage to them before they can damage us. So that was excellent. Another, another theory of doing this, I think I'm going to go with the five Spire City Hubs, but there is a reason to try to go to seven. And that's because with the six structures you can build, you got to have one that is the habitation center. So you can have two and a half per city, each of the reactors and the shipyard. So if you do the math on that, you would need seven cities, because that would be 17 to 18 shipyards, in order to support two dreadnoughts. So you're only supporting like part of the second dreadnought with the standard five cities. And so you're a little bit inefficient there. On the other hand, you've got bigger exo waves and whatnot if you go up. So it's questionable whether it's worth doing that or not. But in this particular case, I'm just going to go with the low end. I was going to go with the high end. It's just AI progress is up high enough. I would have to do a couple Spire City hubs to increase my fleet and then expand more. I'm getting close to the point where it's going to be really tough to expand too much more without it and I think I just want to once I start building the Spire City Hubs I just want to make a beeline towards the end so there when we took Chiriclo they had a Mark III fortress in there which took a while to get through because I don't have anything that can outrange it so I had to wait for my bombers to do it and while we were in there dealing with that every they, they crashed through with some waves so they've taken over Knocked out Minerva, knocked out Kashyyyk, and Eunomia. So we need to get back in there, work on clearing them out. On the other hand, we do have Mark V attractor drones, which are just, they, they attract shots. As long as they're alive, they attract laser shots anywhere nearby. And then the Mark V Spire starship from here. So we've gotten some, some new toys to help us. We need to clear these out, and we need to do it pretty quickly. You see all the fun stuff that they have in here. We have a cross plan attack coming in 12 minutes. So we've got a lot of defensive fighting that's got to happen now. And then once we get that cleared out, we're almost there. Um, I think what I want to do is just clear out guard posts in Calliope and Hyperion and then take Ariel. We'll be two jumps away there from Ouija Man. And, there's no, and this is the last one that has a black hole machine. But as long as I'm going to want to take one more system over here anyway, I think I'd just rather get rid of all the stuff in Calliope and mark down this way. I've already taken out a couple of data centers. I got this one, so I want to eliminate that little marker. And there was one here in Bespin. That's gone. So I've done that to try to hold this down. It looks like we're going to end up at 440. We've gotten most of the research done from this path. We're up to 28k. I've also eventually got to do some more knowledge rating in a few systems to collect as much as I can. But, obviously, first up, i got to get rid of all this mess. Because otherwise the CPA is going to come, it's going to really wreck us. And our energy is now low enough now with the systems that we have lost temporarily. I need to get some of that back or else I'm going to be at risk of brownouts and even worse things happening. Okay, so first things first, while they were starting to hammer another command station up in Palace, I started to get significant force here into Eunomia, which is the first system I want to clear out before I head to the other side of my formation. And a bunch of them trying to just escape to Europa, and that's fine. There goes Palace. But I want to chase down to the extent that I can. And I'm just going to put these all on FRD. And have them chase whatever they're willing to. And Europa, where they're heading off, is off this way. And they might come into Hector. I think Hector would be able to stop that amount of ships. So once I get these chased out of here, I just want to rebuild, and then I can move on to the next system. Take out some of them, of course. There's still quite a bit more. Okay, we were up close to 5,000. 
now we're up to about now we're down to about four thousand. So I mean, my systems are taking out little bits of them as they come through, and then plus combination of that with my fleet here, we're going to gradually make a dent. The question is whether it'll be fast enough. As I worked my way around the ring, I was in large part ignored. Now they did come back and hit Yonomia, which I didn't really care that much about. I'll get back to it. Kashik, Minerva, they didn't. They didn't want to come into any of our more fortified systems. Radislava MJ-12 are in the max turret range, plus they've got heavy beam cannons. They didn't want to mess with all of that. So they just sort of swirled around in here, but a bunch of them did hang out in Palace. So I had another bite at it here, trying to see if I can take them out. And anywhere else they go, is they go to Minerva, wherever, it's a friendly system anywhere. So I kind of have them cornered in here, and I'm hoping to destroy a whole bunch of them. Looks like they're going to head for Radislava. And we'll just follow them in there. That's where they're going to go. Yep. And that's sort of jumping from the frying pan into the fire for them. As you can see in here, they're not doing that, that particularly great. There we go. That all went quite well. So now you can see that most of the threat is gone. And now we've just got the wave to hit. Uh, the CPA wave with four minutes left on that. So I'm feeling pretty good there. We do also have to recapture Yonomia. But it won't take very long to get around there and do that. And now we're in Chiriklo. My most recent acquisition is we're about to get by the next wave. Actually a slightly smaller one. So it may have more powerful Starship versions. CPA is coming shortly afterwards. Let's see. We got a couple Plasma Siege Mark II's, a flagship Mark II, and a standard heavy bomber. Okay, all Mark II ships. And most of them did not come from the Strategic Reserve, which means they're saving a lot of that. So I've just got the fleet in here. I want to try to make sure we survive this if I can. You can see they just pound through. Yep, and we're going to lose it. They just don't have enough firepower. There we go. And we lost, among other things, our attractor fabricator in here. So we don't get those anymore. This will rebuild very soon but it's just can't repel that much firepower in that many places at once and now they're gonna head to Minerva next and who knows where the CPA is gonna go well it looks like a bunch of it's gonna happen down here and that's a more important system to us than is Minerva so I think I want to send the fleet through this path and see if they can help Hector so it's just a constant jumping around deal and here's the tail end of the fight in Hector. We actually didn't get there in time, but we do have a couple high mark heavy beam cannons in here just for this purpose, and we barely defended the Advanced Factory and the Mark IV Fabricator for the Raiders. Not by much. Now our fleet's going to come in through Hygieia pretty soon, but that's just going to be a cleanup operation. Uh, so, again, it's just one of those scenarios. Where if we let the AI progress get much higher, this is just not going to be tenable. And here we go. Yes, we're all going to mop up here now. Thank you for doing almost all of the job for us. We'll take over from here. And notice the black hole machine, they attacked it for a while, but then they decided not to finish it off. Weird. We've got to head back and clean up the latest mess that came into Minerva, but we're going to have this under control pretty soon here and once that happens I can finally go back to start the gradual process of raiding like Europa we can get some more knowledge there we can get more from Aspasia we can get some from Bespin a couple of these neighboring ones and if I pop in here to Ariel we can get those so we're gonna get a bunch more knowledge and start soon because I want to have around 25 to 30 thousand knowledge still saved up after I'm done but soon I can start ramping up some of my turrets. That'll beef up my defenses some. Saving that knowledge, of course, for the end game. So we're getting close to being ready. We're not quite there yet, but we're getting close. 
hoping to wrap up the next the rest of that and get into the early Spire City hubs in our next video. Till then, thanks for watching everybody. More AI War Fleet Command will continue.